The Gill Foundation was founded by Tim Gill, who built Quark, desktop publishing inventor. We're in Denver, Colorado. We have about $270 million in assets, but Tim's estate also uh, holds some more for us. Uh, the mission of the Gill Foundation is to ensure equality regardless of sexual orientation or gender expression. I came to the Gill Foundation three years ago. Uh, I think I appealed to them because I was uh, the original executive director of Gay Men's Health Crisis, which was the first and largest aid service organization in the country. When we talk about strategy here at Gill, uh, we're talking about some very specific, very concrete outcomes. When, what we did initially was define what an in-state looked like. What does equality mean? What does that look like in terms of the self, in terms of your career, in terms of your spiritual life, in terms of your family, in terms of our role in society? Then we put very specific outcomes attached to those. For example, in, in the area of career, we need employment non-discrimination. We need equal benefits for our families, very specific things that one can measure, whether you achieved or not. Rather than saying, here's what we want to do, we looked at the entire range of funders and organizations and individual leaders and said, what role can we play? And we identified five roles for ourselves. We can take those risks and spend the money necessary to persuade mainstream Americans that we are also part of them. We can spend that money to uh, encourage and influence other donors and other foundations, that was clear. We could provide the business consultants and strategists and the evaluators and all the, 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 the metrics and the operations that go into keeping everyone on track and measuring that long term. About 20% of our grant making and staff time is involved in uh, uh, demonstrating to the citizens of Colorado that lesbian and gay people care about the same things they do. Um, it's interesting, the Gay and Lesbian Fund for Colorado, which is the division that handles all of our Colorado grant making, doesn't give to gay organizations. Those go to, uh, for everything from healthy families to uh, civic engagement, there's libraries, symphonies, leadership development programs. We um, also um, have uh, what we call a movement building center. Much of our, the majority of our grants go to organizations that are fighting to advance gay rights around the country. And that organization provides money and a great deal of expertise to help them uh, be as effective as possible and work as well together as possible to try to formulate a strategy nationally together. The other, and I think probably the most important thing we do, is what we call our leverage center. We don't need to raise money here at Gill. We have a generous endowment, but there's uh, about $400 million a year being spent by the far right to build infrastructure that promotes their ideals. The gay and uh, lesbian civil rights movement has about $100 million a year, so we're not operating at scale. Uh, to do effective defense, much less real offense. So we spend a great deal of time and effort trying to influence other donors and other foundations on the issues we care about. We fought very hard to uh, advance hate crimes legislation, uh, which is a laudable goal, and we've achieved much of that in many places. The problem is, if you look at your outcomes, your movement outcomes, the incidence of violence continues to increase while we increase uh, hate crimes protection, there's no cause and effect there. What we did find was that when um, police departments and prosecutors aggressively prosecuted perpetrators, put that message out on the street, we did have an impact. We made certain cities and certain states much safer. I can think of a hundred of examples of where we turned something down that was very close to my heart. Uh, and I think every foundation officer will be familiar with that feeling. Uh, part of the discipline and rigor of being strategic is sticking to plan and not drifting. There is an unlimited amount of injustice and suffering out there that I cannot mitigate. We have limited resources. We are rationing resources. So part of the demand of this job is keeping this relentless focus on exactly what we said we're trying to do and staying there because there are so many appealing, urgent, necessary things out there. I think every foundation can benefit from a strategy, a concrete, written down strategy. That is specific goals you're trying to achieve, what resources you're going to bring to bear on that, and how you're going to measure that as you go along to see if you're doing it. That's a good thing inherently. Uh, 
from my personal experience, I've seen more results than when I was just being bountiful. I've, uh, I've, it took us a while at Broadway Cares, for example. We gave money to anybody who asked, and that was a good thing. And, uh, but a lot of those organizations weren't effective, and one might argue that a lot of that money went down the tube. Uh, it's made me a lot tougher as a grants officer, uh, much tougher, um, in that I have to hold them accountable and they hold me accountable. Um, but, being, but generosity alone will never result in social change. And I think that's what my boss learned after spending about $100 million in 10 years of his life and having very little to show for it except uh, a clean conscience and a lot of grateful people.